Welcome back, guys, to episode two of the DD Kong web series. Without further ado, let's jump right into wires and batteries. Hi, guys. Luke coming to you again from DD Audio headquarters. Uh, this time, we're doing an unboxing video for what is going to be the heartbeat of our project, and that is, in this case, the power setup uh, brought to us by Ray at Batcap. Uh, he was generous enough to help us get our hands on 10, actually 11, excuse me, of these monsters. We got our Batcap 4000 here, which will be, again, the heart of the system, uh, and our GMT Yukon here. Contacted Ray in order to work out what would be our best power solution. Uh, in order to feed this animal when it does get up and running and he's able to direct us uh, to, to these particular units. So for any of your mobile auto sports or mobile audio power needs, uh, Ray's had to go see, he's an industry professional and was again instrumental in us moving forward with this project. We look forward to working with Ray on projects coming up in the future. Thanks Ray. So this build on the power runs has 10 rolls of DD Audio Z-Wire hot gauge, five power and five ground. About 500 feet. One and a half football fields. Worth of length. Worth of length. About 240 pounds, so basically one of me and wire. We've got it strung underneath. Uh, we've got it strewn throughout the inside. Literally, there's not a lot of nuts and crannies without wire crammed in them. The actual power wire run runs down the passenger side. We've actually constructed a series of gussets done by our uh, welder friend, Mason. <laughs> because 12 runs of odd gauge inside the vehicle is not awesome to hide under a carpet. In order to get all the wires through the rear of the vehicle, we ended up having to cut holes in the floor. Problem being, you don't want a whole bunch of big giant odd gauge wire and have it touching metal or potentially wearing through the jacket on the odd gauge, wearing through the jacket on the odd gauge. So what we ended up doing is having a series of 3D printed grommets printed out by our media guy, Jake. The grommets actually snap into place and we were able to run the wires up through. The really cool thing about them too is they have these little tiny teeth on the inside of the grommet. That way the actual weight of the wire is physically retaining the grommet into the, into the sheet metal. By the time we got the enclosure inside the vehicle, we only ended up with about 15 inches of depth. The space in the back was super premium didn't have a whole lot of room for extra. <clears throat> Rather than running, you know, several dozen individual uh, power wires for all of the, uh, the mid and high amplifiers, we just ran a, a pair of positive and grounds uh, directly from the battery bank up to the, uh, up to the four channels, split them there and, uh, and doled out power individually. Uh, for the battery rack, we turned again to our friend Mason. Uh, had him fabricate up a, a rack system that allowed us to mount all the batteries vertically. Uh, we needed to, to have them take up as little space as possible. With them being sealed AGMs, we were lucky enough to be able to mount them in any orientation we needed to to, to fit the space available, and so a vertical amp rack suited that need. Each one of those wires going through the vehicle had to get terminated. Probably 100 to 150 different termination ends that had to be done. Watch, I'm about to crimp the shit off that wire. Yeah, just use a hydraulic crimper to, uh, to attach some, some copper lugs to the end of the wire in there so we could link all the batteries together. It, it literally was more times than I can count. The front and rear distribution points are just SMD, right? Big thanks to Steve Mead for, what? I've seen them used in tons of large builds, so I know that they're built to handle what we're about to put it through. We went with them and, and we've had nothing but luck with it so far. Thanks again for tuning in to episode two of the DD Kong web series. Uh, remember guys, follow that hashtag DD Kong for further content coming in the future.